What's up you guys? Let's check in with the Divine Masculine and see where the Divine Masculine is standing currently in the Collective Consciousness. So this is going to, in essence, be a message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Likely that's how it's going to come out. And if you like the video, please like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And remember that this reading is timeless. Um, so, because energy is uh, not linear, and so whenever you receive this message, that is when you're supposed to receive this message, okay? Ancestor of the Highest White Light, what is the scoop? Where is the Divine Feminine, or I'm sorry, where is the Divine Masculine currently within the uh, collective consciousness? Okay, the Divine Masculine has an idea. <laughs> he says you need to unblock him. <laughs> I don't know, that's what I heard. <laughs> Okay, um, he could also, um, oh, we've got the King of Cups in the reverse position. So, and in this deck in particular, um, there's Saturn in this King of Cups, and so I think what's going on here is that the Divine Masculine is just coming out of a sort of relationship with a karmic because uh, Saturn is essentially the king of karma and uh, the king of cups in the reverse position to me indicates somebody who is just feeling a little emotionally unstable and uh, um, emotionally drained. So let's continue. Um, let's keep um, playing some cards. What else, Spirit? Um, what else does the Divine Masculine want to say to the Divine Feminine, please? Okay, yeah, so he knows that you are single, and he knows that you are doing really well. Um, so that, that must mean that he's watching you. Um, so, you know, take what resonates with regards to the Two of Swords in the reverse position, and then the um, Nine of Pentacles. Obviously, this is general reading, so there's going to be different messages for different people. We've got the King of Swords in the reverse position. They, um, apparently, I think uh, the idea here is, um, what I'm gathering is, is that the Divine Masculine was feeling very insecure and um, told some untruths. And um, you're the Queen of Swords in the upright position. The Divine Feminine is... And so, um, he knows that you know that. And, um, okay, so upside down, I was just looking at this card, and it's almost like, I know the King of Swords, the King of Swords looks, you know, pretty content and pretty happy in this card, but just kind of at the distance that it, it was from me, he's kind of like looking down, he didn't look so very happy, okay? So, um... Yeah, let's just keep pulling some cards. Okay, Five of Cups. Um, uh, I feel like he's still, he's like praying that you, you'll take him back. Um, okay. Hmm, the Tower card. Let's, um, let's keep pulling some cards. Yeah, I feel like he's not sure if he'll take him back. Um, because you don't, like, the Queen of Swords, like, she doesn't, she's serious. Like, she doesn't put up with shit, okay? And I feel like he knows this about you, and he's, like, afraid to come in. Um, so, the Three of Cups, um, there may have been a third party. Oh, obviously, because of the King of Cups in the reverse position with Saturn, the Karmic. Um, the Tower card. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on with that. Let's pull some more cards. Three of Cups could also indicate, like, a marriage. Um, you know, take what resonates. But, um, I think that he's, that he's, like, still praying that you, that you will have him is what I heard. He's not very happy, and if he is still in this karmic situation, like he, this is another message for somebody else. If he's still in this karmic situation, it's incredibly emotionally undraining, and it is, it's making it very difficult for him to be able to be honest. And, and this Queen of Swords could also be the karmic, to be honest, and this is literally like his karma. Like, she's like, she's like... I mean, I don't know what else to say, but she's, like, cutting him in half. Like, she just, like, fucking chopping him down, like, every second. So, like, that, I mean, that could be, 
the, the tower card, um, like this is a huge tower moment for him. What else, spirit? Ancestors to the high sweat light. What else is going on with my mask then, please? Okay, the sun card, and with this deck, um, I feel like, and there's Saturn again on this card, so I definitely feel like he's dealing with a lot of karma. Damn, he must have fucked with somebody. Um, you know, this reading, yeah, um, but it's like he realized that I just think that he's seeing himself in a new light. Like he, what I heard was, is that you're you're my you're my sun and my moon, or you're the universe. Um, you're like everything um, to him. But it's like, but this is the thing. Like it, it took him having somebody to be like I, I don't know what else to say, but like a, an asshole to him for him to be able to realize that. So. You know, we all have to go on our own relative journeys, and we all, you know, sometimes, sometimes people just don't have enough faith, and they just, you know, they just don't make the right decisions, um, you know, understandably so, like, I, you know, um, in the type of culture that we live in, you know, consumerism and uh, capitalism, it doesn't really leave a whole lot of room for faith, you know, money is kind of our our God, you know what I'm saying? And that, that is, uh, that destroys things oftentimes, you know what I mean? Like it can build things, it can, but you know what I mean? Like, but in the, in the, in the context of, um, you know, money and consumerism, it's, it's like this competitive thing that is, it's, it destroys, you know? And, um, huh. I gotta pull more cards. There's a lot coming through. Okay. What else? Spirit. Yeah, I feel like this Queen of Swords is, like, looking at me, too, um, and she's kind of, like, I don't know, it's weird, it's, like, she's kind of, like, winking at me, like, <laughs> like, I got your back, <laughs> or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's, like, a, a, a girl, um, like, sisterhood, or something like that, anyways, like, he fucked with you, I'm gonna fuck with him, damn, and, like, he's, uh, Five of Cups over here is, like, begging for mercy, so, mm. What else, Spirit? Mm. Okay, so we have the Nine of Cups in the reverse position. So he was really emotionally sloppy. Um, I feel like... I feel like he had, like, mommy issues. I just heard that. We'll, see, we'll keep pulling cards. Like, maybe I'll pull... Um, Okay, so we have the three of cords, or the three of, um, we've got the three of swords that kind of landed sideways, and what I heard, or what I saw, rather, was, um, like, this person is very stoic, like, um, and, like, proud of that, almost, of being stoic, um, We've got the King of Wands in the reverse position. Um, being emotionally sloppy did not make him feel comfortable. So he didn't know what to do at that point. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse position. And that was kind of like getting in the way of his money. Um, he also usually likes to take things slowly. And um, he wasn't able to do that with you, I think. We've also got the Six of Cups in the reverse position. So I think he put a lot of blame on you. Again, I think, like what I said with the mother issues. Um, or something like that. What else, Spirit? Man. Yeah, he made it really a lot. Like, we've got the um, Ten of Wands. He made it, like, a burden where it didn't really need to be a burden. Okay? It's just what else. Like, it was a lot harder work than it really needed to be. I mean, we're all, like, you know, the result of somebody else's actions and things like that. But at some point, you have to take accountability. You know? Hmm. So he's been having a lot of anxiety. Um, but honestly, and I'm, like, hearing that, like, he can't sleep and he's been having a lot of anxiety. And it's, like, 
he's like like what I'm hearing is it's like because of like you but let's be honest I really feel like it's because of this karmic that like he's dealing with and like that was his choice so you know what I mean like we all have free will we all make our own decisions um what else the magician in the reverse position there may have been some um like a dark magic what else spirit you know some uh, negatively polarized of course yeah with the with the thoughts man oh so this divine masculine um was projecting a lot of like his past issues onto you it seems um so I feel like this karmic, though, is kind of, like, handling him, but it's like he's, like, caught in this cycle. Like, he just needs to take accountability. What else, spirit? Yeah, he has a hard time opening up his heart and, like, sharing. Well, Four of Wands kind of came out sideways. So, like, I just, to me, that is, like, that's just like stagnant like he's just really stagnant so no wonder he's having anxiety um you know the universe is like trying to get him to move and he's got like this karmic because uh you know i don't know um <laughs> man these people y'all like ugh. okay what else spirit It's really sad when people are, like, proud to be stoic. I mean, like, it makes sense because in society, I feel like that can make you a very productive person, like, in today's society. But it is truly a reflection of our society um, when anybody is proud to be stoic. Because really what we need to do is we need to all have our hearts open and we all need to be understanding and we all just need to support each other and love each other and be open about that and then we'll all just fucking grow, like, big time. You know what I mean? Like, we could change the world. Um, Three of Wands, yeah, he just wants to get out of there. He wants to get out. Um, he doesn't want to fight anymore. And I feel like he's, like... It's almost like, this is interesting, because I feel like if you are very sensitive, you might be feeling this or hearing this or understanding this, um, that he doesn't want to fight anymore. But honestly, I feel like, and you might think it's like he doesn't want to fight with you anymore. He might even approach you and say, I don't want to fight you anymore. I just want to move on, blah, blah, or something like that. But honestly, what I really think is that like he just doesn't want to fight anymore with this karmic. And I hope that and take what resonates, but, um, it's my feeling that this, this, this masculine is gonna just come in and do the same thing, the same fucking thing that he did bef in, the, in the first place, where he was projecting his mother issues onto you, and now he's just trying to come back in and project his karmic issues on you. Okay, now that's bullshit. We don't, no, nah, we don't like this masculine. Who the hell are you? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. He's escapism. I'm surprised I didn't... Well, we'll just keep uh, pulling some cards. This is nasty. This is a nasty cycle. This dude... Mm -mm. Yeah, he's like in a mental prison. He needs an outlet. Honestly, what he needs to do is he needs to go see a therapist. But I think that he's going to try to come in and he's going to try to, or I don't know. We, I haven't pulled really any um, cards that would indicate him coming to you. But, like, that's just, like, my feeling. Um, oh, Knight of Swords it was at the bottom of the deck. Um, I feel like they, like, want to come in and, like, take action. But, honestly, like, this person just needs to go see a therapist for real like this person does not need to come and like see you because that's just gonna no mm -mm. stay away brother stay away stay away brother mm -hmm. he needs some sort of like an outlet um yeah he needs to go see a therapist what else spirit Yeah, so on the topic of consumerism, I feel like this person is, like, really materialistic. Um, 
And then we've got Temperance, You're a Fucking Angel, and then we've got the um, Ace of Pentacles, and we've got the Queen of Cups. So basically, this I think is like what what Spirit is trying to tell you is that if this dude comes back in, if you let this dude come back in, you have a lot of abundance coming in, and it's just going to be the same thing. He's just going to drain you again. So um, I feel like that is the end of the reading. This was a really weird reading, too. Like, I, I felt like this was going to be a message from the Divine Masculine, but I... Like, this dude doesn't seem divine at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, like, he's losing his divinity. Um, so he's got a lot of work ahead of him, and, you know, just be careful, divine feminine. And um, that is the end of the reading, and I love you guys so much. And um, if you have not blocked, keep them blocked. All right, love you guys. Bye.